Welcome back to Good Morning Colorado. Hope your Monday's off to a great start at 641 right now. We are off to just a great beginning in Pueblo. This is a view courtesy of our Pueblo Chieftain Neighborhood Weather Network camera, where you see hints of dawn's early light with some of the purples and the blues in the background. Temperatures at that camera location range in the mid 40s. But we're at 48 for the Pueblo Airport. That's the same temperature for the Colorado Springs Airport. And we're sitting in the 30s and 40s only for the mountains and the mountain valleys. Folks, grab the light jacket as you step outside. Visibility is good and conditions are dry for the lower terrain. But as we've been telling you about all morning long, along I-70, we have a bit of a rain and snow mix. So if you're traveling in that direction or commuting, make sure to tack on a couple extra minutes for that commute. For Colorado Springs and Pueblo, we're staying very dry right now. But this afternoon, that's when we'll add in the possibility for some of those storms. Right around 9 o'clock, temperature should range to the upper 40s, low 50s, with the 50s and 60s by noon, with the 60s and 70s later on this afternoon. For Teller and Fremont counties, we'll begin the day in the 40s and 50s with some of the 50s and 60s later on this afternoon. We'll stick with some of that snow for the mountains as we go throughout the morning, but elsewhere we'll have just mostly cloudy skies. We stay with mostly cloudy skies throughout the rest of the day and add in the chance for some spotty storms along the I-25 corridor, foothills, and eastern plains. I'm saying afternoon, primarily between 2 and 3 o'clock. This is a look at just a quarter before 6. During this time, you see some scattered showers. With some of these showers, we could see some lightning, gusty winds, small hail. I don't think that heavy rain will be a main factor today, but we can't rule out just a couple of bursts of heavier rain. High temperatures today are set to range in the 60s and 70s. Overall, will be relatively pleasant, but with some of that wind and some of those storms this afternoon, I think some of those temperatures might feel a bit cooler. Now, Tuesday and Wednesday, those conditions start to clear out. We'll stay dry through the middle of the work week. But Thursday, all the way through Halloween, that's when we add in the possibility for some of those storms. Temperatures on Halloween will be the coolest out of the next seven days. But temperatures only reaching 49 degrees. In the Steel City, we'll be at 70 for today's high temperature, with a mid upper 60s Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday through Saturday, we keep in that possibility for some of those storms, with temperatures by Halloween only ranging at 56 degrees. 68 will be your high today for Canyon City. For Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll be in the mid upper 60s. Thursday through Saturday, we have that chance for some of those scattered storms, with temperatures on Saturday only reaching 53 degrees. Remember that forecast models are still differing as to just what a Exactly, will happen on uh, uh, Halloween, so make sure you stick with us as we get closer. 56 today's high for Teller County, staying dry Tuesday and Wednesday, but a bit more wet and unsettled weather for us Thursday all the way through Saturday, with the rain and snow mix possible Friday and Saturday. We'll have much more coming up in the next 10 minutes. All right, may have to bundle up the little trick or treaters this time I around. No, the coat might be required. Okay, thanks, Abby. Mm -hmm. An Air Force Academy officer.